options in the configuration menu. So first up, let's turn the selector switch to manual mode to access the configuration setup. Once we're in the configuration menu, we use the voltage encoder to go through each individual menu item. We'll start from the beginning. This particular me menu, GRE, means that the for the water cooler, the con configuration of the water cooling unit. We can have it off, we can have it on auto, or we can have it on continuously. We'll leave it off for now. The next, we go into the type of unit, the unit that's displayed. At the moment, we're on CE, which is metric. We can then change that to US, which is imperial. We'll leave it on metric. Next is trigger holding time. Now, this is used in conjunction with another program uh, that allows you to chain a number of programs. If we turn that on, it has a time. This is time-based. How long you hold the, tr the trigger for will allow the time it takes to change the program to the, to the next program. Program management. This, at the moment, it's yes. If we don't want program management, we, have, we turn that off by simply saying no. We'll leave it at no at this point in time. ADJ, or adjustment, allows us to adjust our parameters voltage and wire feed speed locally or by remote control. Calibration enables us to calibrate both the length of the gun lead and the length of the work lead. But we'll go through this in series five. When we move to the next L, which is inductance, and this is measured in microhendries, is the inductance of our cables. R is our resistance in our cables, measured in ohms. From resistance, we move into software update. At the moment, there is no software update, but by selecting yes, will enable us to update the software in this unit. If we require a factory reset, if all else fails, then we select yes. And as soon as we exit out of the manual mode, a factory reset will take place. Well, thank you for watching series three. In series four, we'll look at all the functions of the cycle menu.